morning line and happy Friday. We hope you all had a great summer and are glad to have you back watching the Eagle Update. I'm Christina Leone alongside Alex and Ella bringing you the latest buzz from around school. We're excited to be back and we hope you are too. Seniors, it's our time to shine. This is it, the last two of high school. Freshmen, we hope you're enjoying your time in high school so far. Trust me, in a blink of an eye, you'll be standing in our shoes. For our first report, we'd like to introduce to you some of the new faces around Leiden starting with Mr. Tony Bacucci. Hello, I'm Jesus Venturi. I'm right outside of a student's activities office, and we're here to introduce the new director. So what are some new things uh, for the student activities? Well, I think we've got a lot of great clubs here at East Leiden. Um, all of them are great. We have a lot of great participation uh, in all of these clubs. But, you know, we'd like to talk to the student body a little more about what they might be interested in. Maybe there's some new clubs that we'd like to, to get out there. Uh, maybe there's some things we haven't addressed. So I'll be doing that soon to see who, uh, who, who has something that they might want to want to suggest. Do you have one more uh, thing you want to say before we leave? Yeah, on October 4th, uh, we're having our annual Make a Difference Day. It's our fifth annual Make a Difference Day. Uh, we had 350 students involved last year. We're looking to get 500 minimum this year uh, involved in helping our community. So you'll be hearing a lot more about that. Uh, and we hope to get as many Leiden students out there as possible. Thank you. Thanks, Jesus. As you may already know, Mr. Mark and Ms. Ritter welcomed a new member to the building's administration. Here's Sammy Caputo with our new assistant principal. What would you like to do here with your time at Leiden? Um, I'm really looking to build relationships with students and staff and really grow here at Leiden and learn from uh, the amazing things that are happening here from um, the Leiden Pride hashtag to the random acts of kindness and I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to growing in my time here and I also would like to make the math and writing centers a robust place for students that really supports them in their academics and, and helps them uh, find the right path that, that they're looking for. What would you what would you like the student body to know about you? That I'm here for support. It's in my job title. I'm the assistant principal for student support and so that if you have any questions or you need anything my door is always open. I'm located in room 103 um, right by the main entrance and that I'm really uh, passionate about student voice and using student voice to make decisions on a school level. So I'd love to hear from you um, as the student body and really provide some supports that you think that Lydon should have. All right, thanks so much. Back to you, Christina and Alex. <laughs> Great job, Sammy. And welcome, Ms. Hoffman. This next set of new faces also represent some new opportunities. We're pleased to present the following report on the new school's new math and writing centers. Uh, why did Leiden start a new writing center? Um, Leiden wanted to start a new writing center because we wanted a place where students can come and get help um, in any sort of writing that they need. Um, we'll help with any class, with any paper, with any project, kind of, um, and a place that we can really um, have a spot where students can come and get specific help that they need. Yeah. Who should come here and when? Anybody can come here, freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors, for any kind of writing project um, in any content area. If you're looking for help writing a job resume, if you're looking for writing a lab report, if you're looking for your honors paper, college entrance um, essays, anything, any paper, we can give you feedback. So it's open for all. It's a safe place for everybody. Now I'm here at the math center. I want to ask a couple questions to the math coaches. Uh, can you please tell us something about yourself and what uh, the students should know about the math center? Hi, I'm Ms. Grahola. I used to be a Polish interpreter at East and a tutor at the Zahola study hall. Now I work at the math center and I would like to help students with math. I'm Mr. Wolf. I'm uh, excited to be here, and I am also ready to help you guys with some math. Thank you. That sounds like a great opportunity. It's time now for one of our favorite segments here at the Eagle Update, Marky's Moment. Here's the king of the Chromebooks, the Tyrannosaurus of technology, the Goliath of greatness, Mr. Marky. Good morning, everyone. It's great to have you back again. I know it's been a wonderful first two weeks of school. I've heard a lot of good things out in the hallways, in our classrooms, and I'm really excited to have everyone back and to be at our first video announcements. I wanted to talk a little bit this morning about the, the core of our vision here at Lighten, which is committing to excellence. As a lot of you already know, but just to make sure everyone does, we have something called the Excellence Award here at Lighten. 
And that lays out eight different areas that we want all of our students to achieve by the time that they graduate. And we're really excited this year. We have over 90 of our seniors right now on track to earn the Excellence Award. And I know that many, many more are going to move into that phase. And you can always check that on your Home Access Center. Right next to where you check your grades, you can look at the Excellence Award and it will actually show you in all eight areas whether you're on track or you've already achieved in that particular area. So you can see exactly where you stand. So I really look forward to seeing more and more names on that list. And right now, let's hear from a couple of different students that are achieving excellence as we speak. That's right, Mr. Markey. I'm Katrina Sampalibo here with you today to show you some proof that there are many pathways to the Excellence Award. First, I'm here with Victoria for her to share her story on why she's excellent. Um, besides being a two-sport athlete, I think that being involved in Key Club has really qualified me to be an excellent student because I get all my service hours and I'm doing it with friends, so it doesn't even feel like work, and really just being involved in any other clubs is what helps. Now I'm here with Rizal to, for her to share her story on excellence. Um, well, I think what contributes most to my excellence is that I'm the leader of FBLA, so I get to partake in a lot of leadership roles, and that makes me an excellent student. I'm also part of other clubs like band that counts the capstone course, which is really cool because it's basically hanging out with your friends and playing an instrument. Thank you. Now back to Alex and Christina. Thanks, Katrina. That was, well, excellent. excellent. <laughs> Lastly, it's time for the most anticipated event of the day, the homeroom donut giveaway, the giant foam finger, please. And the winner is Mitch Kasanovich. Enjoy your donuts. Well, that's all we have time for today. From Christina and the rest of the crew, I'm Alex Manella, hoping you have a great weekend and wishing you good luck on the start of the school year. Go Eagles.